I'd like to talk about Mentor Disciple, uh, how I've come to understand Mentor Disciple and maybe some of the difficulties I've had coming to, to understand it. Um, when I think back, I've had experience with Mentor Disciple in my life, never really thinking of it that way. The basketball coach that I had while I, I played as an undergraduate, and he coached the whole person and was genuinely a mentor for us, not just as basketball players, but as individuals and students, and worked really closely with us and was interested in us becoming the best people we could be as well as the best basketball player. That's not common. <laughs> and when I look back, he was genuinely a mentor to me, and uh, a mentor in the, in the sense of of how we speak of, of Daisaku Ikeda in, in the Soka Gakkai. I grew up, in a sense, in the 50s and the 60s in Canada, which is a culture that where mentors are not prevalent and not necessarily respected. And it's, so it took me a long time within the Gakkai to come to understand Daisaku Ikeda's role and why he singularly would have a unique role in the Soka Gakkai, and I really did struggle with it for decades. It was only after being able to listen and see Daisaku Ikeda in monthly videos that we've been able to listen to in the last few years that I've come to really feel his spirit. But as late as 2007, I was asking questions of senior leaders why is Daisaku Ikeda the mentor for the whole of the Soka Gakkai? Why is it only one person? And the answer would come back, well, who else? And, and when you understand the history of the Soka Gakkai and you understand the role that Daisaku Ikeda has played since the late 40s, you can really understand that, that, question, that the answer to that question makes sense. Who else? Because he has been the person establishing a way forward for the Gakkai in the 21st century. Now as a result of really accepting Daisaku Ikeda as a mentor in my life, he's had and is having a big influence on my life. I mean, first of all, his guidance is, is so positive and supportive and humanistic and forward-looking and wise. I mean, you can see that and when you try and apply it, you can see the effect. How Daisaku Ikeda treats people, he puts things in the positive. He's not negative with us. Um, he supports, he praises, he appreciates. And that, I'm trying to make that my, my personal style when I deal with people. Also, Daisaku Ikeda is a courageous person and you see that in his history, you see that in how he's acting now. As you move forward in an organization that is interested in really fundamentally changing society, you come upon obstacles. Those obstacles were met with great courage by Daisaku Ikeda over and over and over again. And that courage is something that I want in my life. I had I, I identify with that as something that I want because I lack that. I, am, I, I don't put myself at the forefront of struggles easily and his influence has helped me do that in a number of instances in my life. I want to help others shine and act as a mentor like he is acting as a mentor to me now. And the amazing thing about Daisaku Ikeda is that he's in his 80s and he is working as hard as he ever has in trying to reach members like me as a mentor. You know, I say to my friends, Daisaku Ikeda is the real deal and it took me a long time to get to that point and now it's one of the greatest treasures in my life, I mean, certainly.